There was a man who had a slap tear. He went to the physio. It got a little better, but the pain was still there. So he rested it for a month. But when he went back to working out, the pain was still there. That man was me. And if you're watching this video, I'm sure that it's you too. But in just 28 days, I was able to fix 90% of the pain in my shoulder so that I can do the things that I love. And you can too. See, when you start physical therapy, your body adapts to it. And that's why the pain subsides a bit. But unless you progress to new and more challenging workouts, you stop adapting and hit a plateau. And the way to break through these plateaus is with something called progressive overload. And to understand that, we need to go and do some gardening. Crocky, would you get a load of that garden, mate? These little snow peas are a vine, so they'll grow in whatever direction I want them to. So I've got these little sticks here because I want them to grow upwards. I could put a lattice in here to make them grow sideways. They'll basically adapt to whatever stimulus I give them. But because I want them to grow up, when they get to the top of this little stick, I'll put a bigger stick in to encourage them to keep growing in the direction that I want them to. Grow you good things. The same thing happens in your shoulder. We have to encourage it to become strong and mobile again. And the exercises that you did at the start of your rehab were like the little sticks in my garden. They encouraged your shoulder to grow in the direction that you wanted them to. But just like these snow peas, when I want them to continue to adapt, to continue to grow in the direction that I want them to, I'll need to put a bigger stick there in front of my shoulder. Well, not really, let me explain. Your shoulder will adapt to the workout and exercises that you put it through. Much like my snow peas adapt to the stick that I put in the ground. And just like my snow peas need new and bigger sticks to grow to, your shoulders will need new and more challenging workouts and exercises as your pain subsides. But if you continue doing the same workouts and exercises that initially reduce the pain in your shoulders, they'll eventually adapt to them and stop being effective. So to keep making progress, it's important to change your training variables to make sure that your shoulder continues to adapt and improve. That's what progressive overload is. And there's five training variables that we can manipulate. We've got volume, intensity, range of motion, tempo, and complexity. I like manipulating volume and intensity first because you can do that within the same workout and the same program. To increase volume, you do an extra rep or two in a set or you do an extra set or two in a workout. Boom, you just use progressive overload. But you wouldn't keep doing that until you were doing, say, 13 sets of 28 reps. That'd be ridiculous. We usually prescribe a rep range, let's say eight to 12 reps. So when you can do all three of your sets at 12 reps, then you increase the amount of weight that you're lifting and you go back to eight reps. Boom, you just use progressive overload again. And keep doing this, and you're gonna keep getting stronger. Range of motion can be manipulated in several ways. With slap tear rehab, we always start with a reduced range of motion because that's where you experience the least amount of pain. Now, if you wanna get the full guide, just click or tap the screen there. Once the reduced range becomes comfortable, we then increase the range of motion. Kind of like going from a chest press to an incline chest press. Boom, you just use progressive overload, now you're stronger. And if you do that gradually, eventually you'll get back to full range of motion, being able to lift your arms up overhead, being able to do all the things that you used to love doing before you had your slap tear. Tempo can be manipulated in several ways. So we can increase the eccentric contraction time. So that's the contraction when the muscle is lengthening. We can add a pause between the reps and either of those will make the same exercise with the same amount of weight much more challenging. Boom. You just use progressive overload and now you're stronger. Increasing exercise complexity can be done in many ways. But for this example, let's go from a push-up to a rings push-up. The rings push-up is far more complex because of the instability that the gymnastics rings offer. Now, I don't recommend doing rings push-ups during your slap tear rehab, but it's a good example of how you can increase complexity. And jumping to a more complex exercise and increasing range of motion too quickly are two of the ways that you can really stifle your progress with slap tear rehab and cause a lot of pain. So if you're pissed because it's months after your slap tear rehab, but you're still getting pain when you're working out, it's most likely because you're not applying progressive overload effectively and using periodization. And that's not your fault. These are complex concepts that us coaches spend years of practice refining. If you want to learn more, get the Slap Tear Rehab Blueprint. It's free. Just click or tap the screen up there.